Oh, ah. It's day three. What's happening today? So today, they're going to be looking at all the ideas that they had yesterday and really having to hone in on that big idea that is going to really change things. And this is going to be super stressful because they'll have lots of ideas, they'll have lots of people with their own ideas that they want to push forward, but they're going to have to be super strict and really hone in on that big, big idea that is just going to knock it out of the park. Welcome to day three of the 2023 Innovation Festival. I think it's going really well. Day one is always a bit of a relief, frankly, to get the festival underway and to get everybody into their tents and, and sort of start to feel what's the problem that they're trying to solve. Day two, I was wandering around. The buzz in the tents, palpable. I noticed yesterday, huge buzz. I guess, uh, you know, quite a lot of sort of serious faces, a lot of discussion, some great soft collisions happening in the tents. We have just had the most incredible, inspiring talk from the lovely Tilly Lockie. It's such an, an incredible thing to see so many people wanting to make new ideas and make new inventions and innovation starts with collaboration and hearing everybody's ideas. Of course we're here at the Innovation Festival and your arms are an example of how innovation can literally change lives, right? 100%. It's so, so important and it's always about like the back and forth, the talking together, the bouncing ideas off of people and it's places like this, festivals like this which encourage that innovation and those ideas that just make it better and better and better. So tell me what kind of ideas have been going around so far? So the core thing is to how to save money for each household, how do we help the your households to save more money in different sectors, banking, retail and everything that they do from utilities to other sectors as well. This is the Mappertunity Sprint where we are all coming together to figure out a way to support job seekers. What we would like to focus on is connecting people to hyper-local opportunities and companies and be able to filter down to companies that might be a potential employer for them in the future. We are looking at how data, software, green technologies and um, putting those within a smart network can help reduce energy costs. Yesterday was all about understanding that problem and unpacking it and, and sort of really getting under the bonnet of it. Today, after a lot of lightning talks and a lot of inspiration, we're, we're letting them loose. So we've come up with a number of how might we statements uh, to fix a solution that we came up with yesterday. And then we're going to get people to prioritise which one of those themes or themed areas can give the biggest impact in order to, to solve what it is we're doing. This team is looking to find a way of going beyond net zero in construction projects that Northumbrian Water needs to deliver and they're looking at how they're going to mobilise that plan within 12 months. We've come up with a few ideas about different bits of the process that we can improve, so looking at the risk assessment part of it first, and then the other half of the team are working on a sort of secondary part, which is how we can improve kind of planning at the asset level. We've been working hard to um, develop further the ideas that we came up with yesterday. We've been doing some storyboarding to see how those ideas might work in practice and this afternoon we're just starting to prototype some of those ideas further. What are we looking forward to tomorrow? Day four is just so good because it is the fruition of everybody's really hard work. So that big idea will have been prototyped, will have been tested with their target audience. So we should have some cracking big ideas to look at by the end of tomorrow and I can't wait.